Shalom, 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 brothers and sisters. It's early in the morning, and I want to share something with you uh, this morning. Uh, just just uh, out of all the political things that are going on around the world, this was put in my spirit. And um, I want you all to, those of you that read the Bible, you, you, you believe in the Bible, you believe the Bible is accurate, I want you to hear what the Bible has to say about you as a, a black or African American or colored person, whatever you want to identify yourself as. Check this out. This is right straight from the Bible. Okay, you see this is the King James Bible. I uh, just want to show you. The Holy Bible, King James Bible. It's not a trick Bible. Okay. It says, this is the Holy King James Bible KJV. Um, super giant print reference edition by Holman. Okay. I want y'all I want to do this because I want y'all to see that this is not a trick Bible. I'm not trying to trick anybody. Okay. Here's the front cover. This is it says Holy Bible, Super Giant, King James. What did I say? Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, it's quite windy out here, but I'm gonna go straight to the point because I know your time is, is important to you. So this is uh, Genesis chapter 15. 15. We are now in 2018. 2019 is coming up, and uh, the so-called president Donald Trump has made a declaration that 400 years of the so-called African Americans, or they call us blacks in America, is 2019. Now, I want to show you what the, what the, the scriptures say about that. In um, Genesis 12, Genesis 15 and 12, and it reads as follows. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, and horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto him, unto Abram, come on now. This <laughs> wind wants to battle with me. Go this way. And he said unto Abram, Know the surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. See that? Four hundred years. Abraham's seed, the, the scripture said that Abraham's seed would be in a land that's not theirs. They would be afflicted. They would serve them 400 years, right? So now, what people on the face of the earth does this make reference to? Do we know of any people on the face of the earth that has been in slavery in a particular captivity such as America? 400 years 400 years see that and he said to Abraham or Abram no surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and shall afflict them 400 years that's what we're dealing with brothers and sisters 400 years 2019 uh, Jamestown Virginia was the first English colony settlement in the United States of America. And brothers and sisters, it's true. We are those people. And our captivity is coming to a close. Am I saying that 2019 we're going to go back to Israel? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that the parallels of the biblical prophecy fits one people. That is the so-called African Americans, blacks and Negroes, the sons and daughters of the diaspora. That's all I got.